Hello, looking for a healthy appetizer? Stay tuned for Chef Dr. Margie's Guacamole Delight. Welcome to Real Food, Real Medicine, where Chef Dr. Margie empowers you to better health through real food, to your health and wealth. This recipe has nine ingredients. Four avocados, two cloves of garlic, a tomato, half of a yellow onion, a third cup of cilantro, some salt, hot sauce, lime juice. First thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and get started with the uh, mixing bowl. We're going to put the cilantro in. The tomato is medium to large size. You can see it takes up a big part of my hand. One thing that I do recommend, tip here, is this Pampered Chef Digital Kitchen Scale so that you can weigh more accurately the uh, items that you're adding to your uh, recipe. Let's turn this on and see how much this tomato weighs. So this tomato is just slightly over seven ounces, so it's a pretty good sized tomato. And on the cilantro, I love this Pampered Chef Herb Keeper because it keeps it fresh longer for several weeks in the refrigerator. You add water at the bottom and just keep the cilantro in there and you can keep that for a couple of weeks in your refrigerator so it doesn't go to waste. So on the garlic, we have two cloves and I've got the Pampered Chef Garlic Press. I love to press my garlic because I think it brings out the flavors better. And this is just an awesome tool to have in your kitchen. And then it's got this little tool underneath so that you can scrape that into the bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and cube the tomato. The tip for you here on the tomato. I do recommend that you get rid of all the seeds in the tomato because some people, uh, especially those with diverticular disease or diverticulitis, don't tolerate seeds very well. So you wanna make sure you get rid of all the seeds in your tomato. I do also recommend cutting it into relatively small cubes because you don't want huge chunks in your guacamole. Another tip, I'm cutting this tomato on a flexible cutting mat. And it's just a very thin layer uh, plastic type material that has a non-skid surface on the bottom so it stays put when you're cutting your vegetables or whatever you're cutting on it. And uh, it's just very handy. It takes up very little space in your kitchen. So it's, that's another good kitchen tip for you is a, it's a space saver. I'm gonna gather up the pieces of tomato, make sure that there are no seeds in there. It looks like I have a helper with me here this afternoon, my cat. Every time I'm in the kitchen doing something, he has to snoop around because he thinks he's going to get a little something. And I guess I have been a little guilty of giving him some meat every now and then, so it's that Pavlov's conditioning. He's expecting something. But I don't think he'd like tomatoes, so we're not going to give him any tomatoes. Okay, I'm putting this in the measuring cup because I just want to see approximately how much this tomato ends up being because like I said it is a pretty good sized tomato and if you want to have a recipe that duplicates the one that I'm showing you so that uh, when you look at the nutritional info it's going to be pretty accurate. Now that's why I'm going to go ahead and measure it with a, a measuring cup as well because I know not a lot not everybody has a digital kitchen scale uh, to to measure their foods but I do highly recommend it if you're especially if you're trying to be more accurate in your in your calorie counts and in um, the ingredients that you put in a recipe looks like it's going to be pretty close to a cup wow so as you can see it is pretty close to a cup okay so I'll go ahead and add that in oh. for the onion I'm just going to cut it into four pieces okay and then I'm going to put those pieces in the manual food processor and I'm going to dice it up smaller. That way we don't have to start crying during the middle of the video because the onions kind of get to you. And this is a very handy kitchen tool to have. You can get to about any size uh, of, of uh, dicing that you want with this. So we'll go ahead and... This also has measurements on the side so you could tell how much you have in here, and it looks like we have about a half a cup. That's another way to help you tell how much you're putting into your recipe. So I said a half of a large onion, large yellow onion, and that's gonna be approximately a half a cup. And you do wanna be careful, these blades are pretty sharp, but they do a great job. As you can see, that didn't take hardly any time at all to do that. The other nice thing about the manual food chopper is if you don't wanna use up the whole amount of what you prepared, it does come with a lid so that you could store the rest in the fridge. Okay, so that's the onion, then the salt. 
uh, I'm adding a teaspoon, but we'll just go ahead and measure it out like that. Okay. And of course, you could add more or less to taste. Then the lime juice is also a teaspoon, but I'm going to just shoot in a few squirts. One, two, three. And the hot sauce also is to taste. Um, I like mine a little hot, so um, I put in a fair amount. Now I'm just going to mix these up. And I like to do these first because then that way I can make sure that they're mixed pretty thoroughly. Once you add in the avocado, then you might end up with little pockets of something that didn't quite mix, and then it's going to taste a little funny. And mm, that smells good. I think that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and put that over here to the side. And another tip for you. Uh, to you want to use ripe avocados in your recipe because if they're not ripe, it's not going to taste too good and, and, and you don't want that. So uh, ripe avocados. And I usually recommend uh, home ripening them in a plastic bag for two days on your kitchen counter. Uh, and then by the time you get to, uh, to use them, they should be ripe. Sometimes it does take a little longer, it just depends. So I've got four of them. Let me see how much these weigh so to give you an idea of how big they are. They do sell those large avocados and I don't really recommend those because I think the taste is a little bit different on them, but I, th I think nutritionally they have less fat or something. There's something about them that's different, but I really like these, okay? And you can see how it fits in the palm of my hand. So that gives you an idea of how, uh, how big it is. And then on here it says it's um, 6.3 ounces, okay? So it's um, less than the tomato. For the avocados, I cut them into fourths. That way uh, the pit comes out a lot easier. There's one. Sometimes the peel comes off really easily, especially when they're more ripe, and sometimes it doesn't, and then you just kind of have to scoop it out. And I like using the mix and chop here because a potato uh, masher would be a little too big for this bowl, I think. So just mashing it up with this and mixing it up. Uh, the other thing that, uh, at least for me, I like mine a little bit on the lumpy side, uh, chunky side rather, and uh, so I don't mash it up all the way, but some people like it smoother, and so you can certainly do that as well it a little bit more again. I like to be pretty thorough about my mixing. Okay. And the other reason I like using this bowl is because it has uh, measurements on the side, so that's another way to tell how much you have in your recipe. So let's take a look at the outside. I think I sp uh, spread this out pretty well. So it's pretty close to four cups, okay? You see the four right there, so give or take, okay? And it does come with its own lid, so I just put the lid on and I pop it in the uh, refrigerator for about an hour so that all the flavors marinate and it comes out very tasty with that. The guacamole has been in the fridge for an hour and now it's ready time to serve it. I like to serve it in the Pampered Chef insulated serving bowls. This is the one quart size and you prime it by ice water first for about five minutes, okay. and that helps to maintain the temperature. So we'll go ahead and transfer the guacamole to the serving bowl. And this bowl is double wall insulated and the lid is as well so that it will maintain its temperature for up to two hours, which is really nice when you are having a party, entertaining, that kind of thing. Okay, so there you have it, Chef Dr. Margie's Guacamole Delight. Enjoy! Tell me in the comments below what you think of the uh, recipe. I'm also going to post the recipe here in just a sec, and I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the recipe actually as well. This nutritious recipe is low in calories at only 152 calories per half cup serving. It is also low in carbs and natural sugar. It is a good source of fiber, and because it is vegan, has no cholesterol. Be sure to check all my links below to contact me, subscribe, shop, and join my team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. From my kitchen and wine cooler to yours, I wish you a bon appetit, to your health and wealth.